And a section of the clergy has come out to strongly defend Azimio leader Raila Odinga and Mama Aida Odinga from allegations that the former Prime Minister's family does not respect churches. Responding to numerous allegations from a section of politicians that Raila wants to regulate churches to curtail their voice, the clergy maintains this is not true as the engagement with Raila Odinga has established what they call tremendous respect to all faith-based organizations and has made it a personal responsibility to promote and protect the status of the church and all faith-based organizations. Yeah, yeah, you just stand behind. I have gone to Kisumu personally from the time God gave me this prophetic word. And I was welcomed by Bishop Washington Gende. I did my due diligence. And I can comfortably say this, an advocate on behalf of Raira Moro Odinga, our designated president. And let the Kenyans know that it's not the way it is. He's a Christian. We formed even Kraji for Raira. We have a Zimio Kraji and Kraji for Raira where I'm the regional uh, uh, director or regional coordinator. And we started even praying for Raira Morodinga. Nationally, we have that structure. So I'm standing here to let the Kenyans know that the president designate he is a God-fearing person. He will deliver as according to his manifesto that he will take good care of uh, actually our single ladies. He will, uh, we have the Baba care. We have all what the manifesto entails. And I don't want to go into details because that was not my agenda today. But I'm asking and requesting all Kenyans to come forth and choose Raira Amorodinga. To me, God spoke to me and told me that he has been tried, tested, and ready to take this uh, country, as he always say, to the land of honey and milk. All right, now.